All right. 9.74. Use the information below to calculate the partial pressure of the first four gases in dry air at STP. And they give you the percent volume and percent mass. There's a couple different ways you can solve the problem. Let's go for the quick, easy, and simple one. And that has to do with Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. If you use Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure, then you don't even need all that mass, mass data they give you. All you really need to do is remember that the mole fraction of a gas is equal to the number of moles divided by the number of moles total. And it's also related to the partial pressure of A over the pressure total. Now, and for the same reason that that works, we can also say, remember, PV equals NRT. And in Dalton's law, we said it works because pressure is proportional to number of moles. Well, guess what? If you look at it, volume is also proportional to number of moles. So this mole traction trick works with volume as well. So your mole fraction is equal to the volume of A times the volume total. Well, how does that get us to pressure? Well, we know the relationship between mole fracture and volume. The pressure of gas A is equal to the mole fraction of gas A times the total pressure. So what are we going to do with that information? This is what we're going to do with it. We're going to figure out the mole fraction of nitrogen. So we have the mole fraction of nitrogen. And we know that's equal to the volume of nitrogen, 78.08%, over the total volume, 100%, right? So that gives us a mole fraction of 0 0.7808. So the pressure, the partial pressure of nitrogen, will be equal to the mole fraction. Ah. the mole fraction of nitrogen times the total pressure. Well, we just solved for that mole fraction of nitrogen. So what's our pressure total? Well, the problem told us that we're at STP, which means that we have a partial pressure, which means we have a total pressure of 1 atm. STP equals 1 atm. So the partial pressure of my nitrogen is going to be my mole fraction times my pressure total. Grab your calculator there to work that one out. Ta-da! And it's going to work that way for all the rest. That's it. Beep.